Okay, we're truly in Miscantha season now, and I've shown you this one before, but I just want to go into a little bit more detail about it. And today is a good day to do that. We've got the sun side lighting it, side lighting it, side lighting it, and it's looking great. I mean, I sit inside on a chair inside the room every morning and get the beauty of this every single day. Now it's about seven and a half to eight foot tall. It's been with me possibly four years, but only two years in here at Grassy Bottom, because remember, we've only been here two years. Now, is the little seed heads that begin with, uh, it begins with, you can see them, they look like that, and then it goes into this phase. And I've started calling this its cotton wool phase, because it, it blows. I used to call it the blowing phase, when the seed heads themselves blow, and they fluff up, but it's more like, uh, it's more like candy actually, candy cotton wool. So, um, like the ones you get at the fur ground. And that's just what it reminds me of. And it's got a very, very similar colour at the moment. So, it's, it's, I described it as rose, um, rosy silver colour when it first starts. And then it's carried on with this little pink flush. So, I've got all the miscanthus in this garden. I've got a lot of miscanthus in this garden, but this one. It just blows my mind every time I see it. It's just such a stunning plant. And when it gets sidelit like that, like it is doing right now, it just can't be beaten. It's called Miscantha sinensis, and it's called Memory. Named after Ernst Pagels, who was a German nurseryman from Potsdam in Germany. And, and he set about to produce some really nice ones. And he's, he's produced some absolute stunners. He didn't produce this, and I'm sure he would love to have... Um, brought this to the market but it's been named in his memory so that's a really really nice thing for somebody to have done they don't cause any problems whatsoever so if you're not into miscanthus yet i suggest you do get one or two of them i must have about 20 20 varieties up at grassy bottom not all are in the garden uh, a few are the few one the few that i consider worth putting in the garden and the other are just part of my collection so it's a great grass to get any miscanthus to be quite honest and this is one of the taller varieties not the tallest at seven and a half foot but there is one that's probably a foot tall uh, and then they just keep going up in increments in size and i tell people to get grasses because like the callum grostis down there which has been absolutely wonderful from march um it's still doing its uh, thing and as winter comes it'll carry on doing its thing as will these miscanthus, albeit in a different guise. They'll, they'll all be straw coloured by then. They'll all have dead leaves, but they will stand very well through winter. And it's it's with regret, really, that we always take them down. And we um, we have to chop them down because uh, simply because they're, they're already starting to have their regrowth early in spring. The miscanthus takes a little bit uh, longer, whereas the calamagrostis, by February, will always be will already be showing green. Whereas the miscanthus, you can get away with for a little bit longer, but I tend to take them all down at the same time. So it's absolutely stunning, and I just had to come out this morning and do this uh, do this YouTube on it because we've got a nice breeze blowing, just demonstrating how good this grass is and why you should get them. I absolutely love it. And while we're here, we'll just show you this as well. This is Millennia. And this is called Winchpeel. And it's had a bit of a move in the last two weeks. Um, believe it or not, I can move these things in full in full seed. Um, as long as you give them plenty of water, they'll survive quite happily. Now, the good thing about this one, you can see it's already turning into its autumn colours. And it'll go a bright yellow. The whole plant will go yellow. Uh, and this is one where you won't have to mess about with because you'll come out one day and it'll have just fallen to the ground. It just, it literally does its own tidying up. It collapses uh, and it, but it has this look about it for, well, it's had this look about it for the last three months. So really, really nice. So that's absolutely fantastic. There's another Carl Forster standing on its own. Callum Agrostis Carl Forster. There's the Millennia Winchspiel. There's a full clump of, Calamagrostis that look fantastic together. I love them. And then this is just like the icing on the cake. So Miscanthus sinensis memory. A superb cultivar. That I suggest you immediately run out and try and find or get yourself onto the internet 
try Knoll Gardens in Wimborne in Dorset in the UK. They are online uh, and they they should have this one in. Uh, mention my name. I don't think it'll give you any discount, but uh, it'd be nice it'd be nice for them to know that somebody's recommending them. So that's Knoll Gardens, K N O L L. Uh, and and they'll they have hundreds of different varieties of different types of grass. So anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Thanks for looking again. Um, and don't forget, I'm also on Instagram as a gardener's journey dot one. If you want to follow me on there, it'd be great. And if you can subscribe to this channel, that'd be fantastic as well. Because I'm I'm trying to give out lots of advice to sort of newcomers uh, and experienced alike. I'll speak to you on to the next one, on the next one rather. Ta-da!